Joining me now is Delana's principal, Karen Andrews, along with student and family advocate, Anthony Kane. Welcome to you both. I appreciate you being here. Karen, how typical is Delana's story? I'd say Delana's story is very typical. Um, most of our students have have really similar kinds of challenges. Things didn't work out at their other school, and um, they ended up finding their way to us. Um, Interagency is a network of alternative high schools across um, the city of Seattle, all part of Seattle Public Schools. We are really like one school with different homerooms that are uh, placed in you know, 11 different locations. We have, um, everyone is, is partnered with a social service agency or a community-based um, organization, and we really see that as the value add. So we try to find a place that will help make up for the barriers that the student is facing um, in their lives. The two of you have worked together for a while here, I take it. I say since 2004, 2005. And, and I, it was interesting in, in talking about what you do in the, in the sense that uh, you're more than just an advocate. You're really an intervention specialist, kind of an assistant principal. You're the utility guy in all of this, is that right? <laughs> Someone at a different high school said, like the problem solver. Yeah. So, um, so I'm just one of them. I'm so not saying I'm the only one. But tell but me yes. about that in, in the problem solving area, what you're dealing with. I mean, obviously we saw with Delena and uh, what she, she was trying to find her place really. And obviously this type of learning had helped her. But, but tell me about the kids. I guess we get kids from all parts of Seattle slash King County. Um, as Karen said, many barriers, and it's our job to work with staff, students, parents, guardians, probation officers, drug and alcohol facilities to figure out what is the barrier and how can we take positive steps to help the kid in a more positive way instead of a more disciplinary way. So there are a lot of obstacles actually to keep them in school and to keep them interested. Yes, and one thing too is we realize that we can't give a kid false hope by saying like the can statement, everyone can make it. A kid's gonna say, how? I've never made it before sometimes. What are the steps? So it's up to us to help the kid find those steps. It has to be real steps. And to give them a real reality check that it's up right. to them. Yeah, so we spend the first week with every new student. Um, we start a new group every Monday, and like this week we started over 40 students, um, and we spend 12 hours with them really getting at what's behind this, because you can say truancy, but students are truant for a hundred different reasons. You're not just truant and then there's you do this one solution and that fixes it. Some students are truant because they have babies or you know children or they're caring for a parent or a grandparent. Some people, some students are truant because they have really severe drug alcohol problem. Some are truant because they're homeless. Some are truant um, because they have felt really bullied and and have social anxiety problems or have mental health unmet mental health needs. Um, so it's complex. Very. Yeah. Like for example, yeah. on Tuesdays we have like a four page interview process that we do with kids. And sometimes the kids won't answer the questions and you're like wondering why? Is it the kid? Is it me? Is there something else going on? But then you might see something. For example, one kid, all oh, two years ago you were involved with CPS. Mm -hmm. And you can say that's Child why there might be, yeah, so therefore that might be the barrier that caused him to be more reserved. Let's talk about uh, this online program and obviously as we saw with Delena, it became an answer yes. for her in a way, for, uh, that avenue for her to finally get her high school diploma. Let's talk about the uh, significant impact on her success, but yeah. others as well. How is this working? It's amazing. So the High School Graduation Initiative has allowed us to offer our students something that really meets their needs. Um, so prior to having this, I'll just tell you what happened. We would have um, three teachers and, you know, a classified st support staff at every site. But we, we would have students, you know, we'd have 60 students, all of whom were missing different pieces of the graduation requirement. So instead of being able to really address what the teachers know how to, uh, know how to address, you really teach the students how to, how to read, how to write, how to do math, how to um, learn, what ended up happening was it became, you know, content management, passing out stuff to students and, and having them complete it. With the online learning, what we've been able to do is let students take rigorous courses that fill in the holes for them. And then it, and it, on the other part of it is it allows our teachers to teach and we can really focus in on um, on individual students. So our, so our academic achievement data has gone up significantly uh, due to the fact that I believe because we're really able to meet kids where they are. Um, and like I said, like the, 
students feel very respected by the online program because it's like college. I mean, I think it feels like college to them. Um, it's it's not easy by any means. So when Delaney was talking about how she was just finishing one and finishing one and finishing one, these are quarter courses, each of them, and um, it's significant the amount of work that they have to do. It really is equivalent to um, a quarter course at a traditional high school. So what other types of uh, programs and, and efforts are, are available now for these kids besides you know having the option to do online? What other types of things are available? Well, like each site, more or less specializes in something. For example, one school we have is called Opportunity Skyway Airport or Airline Academy. And not only do what they get six classes, they can also do more hands-on work. They can prepare for a job in the aviation department someday. Mm -hmm. So that's for example. One school we have which is downtown is called YEP. It's youth education program. And they have right there on site on the same floor if a kid is looking for employment. They got the Seattle Youth Employment Program. It's on the <coughs> same floor, so they can hook up with counselors and workers there. So each site has something that will have a kid not only want to focus on academics, but on something else that's going to help them for the future. In the video, uh, as we saw with uh, the teacher, Debbie, she mentioned connecting with students and how the, the staff at the, at the students' prior schools might not even recognize these young people now, particularly right. as they have kind of found their place and a way to get their education. Talk about that. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think that's really true because the students learn more about themselves and they're empowered actually, I think, to change and to see themselves as scholars. They also know that when they're with us, it sort of is the last stop. There's really nowhere to go from our program. So I think they take seriously the challenge in front of them and they feel really respected by our staff and, and loved by us. I mean I think everybody that works at interagency loves the kids you know I mean they have an authentic um, affection and and belief that they really can make it you know and that they can turn a corner that a kid like Abdi or Delena or any of the kids that you know that that we serve that things can change you know and we help map it out like like Anthony said before we don't we don't just say it can be different we say it can be different and let's look at, let's work together to really map out a plan for how that's going to be. The, the thing that really stood out though is that Delena had to take ownership right. and yes. you find herself. And, mm -hmm. and I, I imagine that that's the one thing that really you're hoping for. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, internal, internal motivation for our students is like magic. Sometimes you never know when it happens, but if a kid somehow finds that internal drive, internal motivation, the path of success is easier in our eyes. You mentioned uh, Abdi. Well, here's uh, another one of these young people that has found his place and found his way, uh, got some targeted support, some flexible learning options, and let's take a look at how he turned his life around. 